Hey hello guys it's How to Attack Simplified back again with another easy tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to fix the waiting for an available server in a Roblox message. Now this is an error that occurs when uh, your system is faulty or the uh, Roblox uh, server client is uh, yeah just really full. Now uh, I'm going to show you step by step on how to fix this issue so stick along till the end and let's get straight into it. First thing that you want to do is open up Roblox on your uh, browser and from there log in now from there you go to the uh, service uh, the experience that you would like to join and here you go below the plus icon and go to the servers tab now here you see a couple of options here you see your own private server and the servers that your friends are in at the moment so you can join them or you can scroll down and here you see the other servers that are available to join. Now make sure to exclude the full servers and here you see the servers that are ready to join. Now as you can see there are a load of servers that are actually not quite full yet and you can press join to actually join them. Now make sure to from there open up your Roblox and that should be it. Now let's head to the next step. Now let's say it's uh, still occurring that you can still uh, can't join the server. What you can do is actually go down to status.roblox.com and here you can see if all these systems are operational. Now here you can see all the uh, current websites and stuff that should be available. Now if this isn't available this should be orange or red and that indicates that Roblox is down and you can't actually join the server. Now if your error still occurs you could also go down to your uh, local web browser let's say the Google Chrome browser and go to the top right corner and clear the cookies. Now how are we going to do that? Simply go down to the settings and here go to privacy and security and here you go to the clear browsing data. Now as you can see here's the cookies and other side data and simply press clear data. Now what this will do it will actually make sure that there are no temporary files and this should fix your issue. If you still ran into problems or if this tutorial has helped you leave a like and subscribe leave it in the comments down below and thanks for watching.